Um, I would like to welcome back uh, Diane Fritz, who will be presenting on the OSM US Trails Stewardship Initiative. All right. Um, I need to get my screen going. There was a. Um... Oh, this one. There is a link that was just posted in the Mapping USA for the um, board elections for following up on that, uh, which is kind of where my screen was sitting just now. But right now, I want to dive into what one of the things I highlighted a little bit was the Trail Stewardship Initiative and responsible recreation. So. Over two years ago, we got this email from a Canyonlands National Park Ranger saying, Dear Open Street Map, <laughs> we have a problem. And through that contact, we realized that we really needed to jump on this issue where in this picture you can see an unofficial trail that was mapped with just the tags highway equals path and nothing else was actually more prominent than the official National Park Service trail in this area. And so to talk to this person and figure out what we wanted to do, we formed the trails working group, which has evolved into this whole um, program for working on better trail tagging. So this was the National Park Service official map. And these are versions of that same section with that unofficial trail that just had highway equals path, whether it was rendered by Gaia GPS, all trails or Cal Topo. And if we think about environmental impacts or safety for park rangers or search and rescue people, just thinking about people going into places where they just look at their navigation app and don't pay attention to the National Park Service official maps anymore. This is a real thing that we needed to think about attacking. And much to a lot of, this kind of goes back to that, wait, this is open street map data. This is an example slider of here is what open street map data looks like. And then here is Gaia GPS's rendering of what that data looks like in the same region. Open street map data from everything that we create when we map things on the ground, even if it's a social trail, ends up in this database. And then how these third parties choose to represent it is something that they can only do well if we put on enough tagging to let them have flexibility in how those things show up. So the Trail Stewardship Initiative has been a collaboration of people from the government, mappers, people from private companies and nonprofits coming together and talking about how do we use the tags that already exist in the trails, um, sorry, the open street map tagging schemas to be able to solve this problem? And how do we interact with land managers to help them understand why things are happening so that they can give us feedback about where there might be problems or how these things show up on the ground? So we convene stakeholders for this and have had a lot of great conversations. And these are the four main pieces that we want to think about in really making sure that these tags get paid attention to when we map trails. And that is, what is the name of the trail? Is there an operator? Is there a particular um, entity like the BLM or the National Park Service that declares this as a trail that they know that they want to have seen by the public and they take care of it. And if that's the case, then we have informal equals no. But if it's a trail that's a social trail that just kind of came to being by use and maybe the National Park Service doesn't necessarily 
want people to use it, then we can say informal equals yes. And then we also want to think about putting on access and allowed uses on this, whether dogs are allowed, et cetera. But as mappers, um, everybody knows we can add so many more details to it. And so there's a lot of detailed tagging schema that can grow off of those four main things. But there are different um, wikis that you we can look at. And then, of course, conversations about this on the Slack keep going about what are the best ways to continue forward with this. Here is, again, that same thing I showed in my talk just a short while ago about results of doing some of this mapping and adding that informal equals yes tag on trails just to de-emphasize them so that when people are trying to choose their routes, they don't get into conflicts with land agencies or don't get into trouble or they don't stomp on um, environmentally sensitive things like cryptobiotic soil, for example. This is a really, really great success and we wanna keep building this and move it on to the rest of the country because that was a result from a pilot we did in the Northeast in Washington state. So we have all of these mapping campaigns that we're starting in Utah and we're going to be tackling acres of public land for mapping and we want to expand this, hone the tools and the processes to do this well, and eventually do a whole national trails campaign to support the Mapland Act, which is a federal government goal of getting all of the trails in the country in a similar data schema and data set. So to do this, we are doing an iterative approach, starting with different priorities. You can take part in this because we're going to be leading a mapathon um, tomorrow that Quincy can help out with. But the goals are equitable access for these trails, but also, like I was mentioning, safety and responsible recreation for this um, project. So join that mapathon. And Quincy will walk you through all of the um, different kinds of how we are setting these up and how to use reference data and how to add in things. And I think he'll be talking about public domain map as well. And I know my time is short, so I'm just gonna rush through these last little bits, but I just want people to know there are different paths to get involved is do some mapping, become a digital um, trail steward if you want to be focused on the trails in your own region. So thank you. And feel free to reach out with to me if you have more questions. That's so exciting, Diane. Um, we have a couple of minutes for questions if you want to answer any in the Q&A. Let's see. Um, I think I'll start at the bottom because I know uh, is emphasizing the official trails and de-emphasizing unofficial trails planned for the OSM Cardo or OSM Americana styles. Um, actually, Brian, do you want to poke at that? Um, so for Americana, uh, yes. Um, and I believe we have that tagging in our upstream schema. And so it's just a matter of people to work on. And so if you're interested in that, contributors welcome. And I, um, I am unaware about OSM Cardo. Those, um, I, I'm sure that as soon as we have this, that that will be part of it too. Because our goal is not only just to do the mapping, but to do the communication and education about this and its goals with every single group that does rendering. And so we're reaching out to everybody that uses OSM data and renders trail data.
Thank you so much, Diane.